What do we have for Taurus? Justice. Libra energy at the foundation of the reading, Taurus. Taurus, the main download that I received for this reading had to do with your mission, why you are here. And I started to receive a complex download that I think I have simplified into something more understandable. And it all has to do with a certain frequency, a certain vibration that was assigned to all of you before you came here. From a universal perspective, the whole reason, the whole purpose for our time here has to do with this particular frequency that we are meant to emanate on our path, which can be seen as our mission, as a means to fulfill our destiny. We deal with all kinds of details and events inside our everyday waking lives, which makes up the sum total of this vibration. The way our paths have been constructed inside the third density here on earth does not necessarily support us being able to emanate this particular frequency. In fact, it's working directly against it. So it could be argued that your lives are that of a vibrational war, which is something I've spoken about before and it has been coming up in the most recent collection of readings. So what do you do with that piece of information? How do you go about finding out what your frequency is? How do you go about understanding enough of what I've presented to all of you here to actually start working inside of that space? Well, every single person has been given a kind of set of orders, a mission statement. That mission statement is speaking to you directly through your heart, the things that make your heart sing, the things that make you feel like life is worth living, the things that make you feel excited to get up every day and go at it again. All of these things, for the most part, have been difficult for you to access, and there's a reason for that. But Taurus, if you really want to start fulfilling your mission and purpose in this life cycle, you must start going after those things. No matter what you need to sacrifice from your life, in order to do so. All of your lives are constructed of things that are trying to keep you from that, whether it's people, places, things, behavioral patterns. It's typically going to be a combination of all of those things, but it's very important that you understand one crucial piece of information, and that is that you are here to bring balance on your path. And when you think about this in terms of each one of us being assigned a specific frequency, specific vibration, which is made up of all the things that we're being guided to do in our life, you can start to understand how if we all did this, it would create a global shift. It would create a sense of balance, so to speak. And the vibration is the result of the frequency. You set the frequency and then you vibrate at that frequency. But that single vibration that you emanate is a result of the way you move in your everyday waking life. What do we have? The sacral, please. Perfect. Magician, Gemini, Virgo energy at the sacral. You know, Taurus, that channeling that I just gave to all of you, I think has been enough to awaken, to spark a lot of ideas inside your minds because we're seeing very clearly now the resulting energy of that with this magician. This is you taking everything that I just said, taking those ideas and opening up a whole new perspective for yourself surrounding how energy works and what our reality actually is. This magician is literally you going after these visions that are a result of these true heart's desires that a lot of you have. Something has awakened inside of you and you're starting to realize just how much potential you have. And it all has to do with the things that a lot of you have been kept with for most of your lives. I'm also hearing something about some of you out there have relatively stable lives. Maybe you have a successful career, but you feel empty inside. You feel like there's something still missing. You feel like what you're doing doesn't have a whole lot of meaning behind it. You want more from life than just a paycheck. You want to know that your time here is being well spent because you're also starting to have an understanding, Taurus, that that is what the abundant mindset is made out of. You understand now that when you take on this kind of perspective over your life and just life in general, 
general, you emanate that particular frequency. You vibrate at that specific vibration, which attracts all of these things towards you that are also vibrating at that abundant frequency. It's a mindset. It's something that starts with uh, perspective. It's almost like a way of viewing your own waking life, life in general, and your set of circumstances. Once you've spent some time mastering that kind of mindset the best you can, you start to see this being reflected to you in your exterior environment, whether it's opportunities, whether it's financial support. You just feel a universal embrace take over. It's almost hard to explain, Taurus, until you've actually experienced it. I know that there's some people out there listening to this right now that have experienced it. What do we have of the solar plexus, please? <sighs> wow. And look who decided to show up to the party, Taurus. The devil. Capricorn energy at the solar plexus. And this is representing the principalities that we are all working against every single day of our life, Taurus. We have a clear representation here of this vibrational war that I have been speaking about recently in the readings. Here you are, understanding the mission, coming online as the magician. And the devil is illuminated to you. You start to see the truth that your whole reason for being here has to do with you helping to maintain a certain vibration inside the collective on earth and everything that you do on your path equates to that vibration that is the single most important thing that we should all be focused on in our lives our vibration because all of the details of our everyday waking lives equates to the sum total of that vibration. Every decision you make, every emotion that you feel, everything makes up your vibration. Your vibration is who you are. You either are or you aren't. There's no in between. There's a very polarized energy on this table. I mean, we literally have you in your purpose, understanding the mission, and then we have the polar opposite, which is the devil. The principalities that work against you from fulfilling your vibration. Ah, it's another way of thinking about fulfilling your mission, right? Fulfilling your vibration. Now we're going a little deeper into the mechanics of how this all works. The universe doesn't look at your life and think about the bills you have to pay or whether or not there's a long line to get your morning coffee, whether or not your significant other has done something to break your heart and hurt you. It's like the universe just looks at that scale so to speak, that measures what our vibration is. And then the universe works in tandem with your spirit guides to help guide you to correcting whatever you need to correct in your everyday waking life to get that vibration to where it needs to be. Now, this is no easy task. Every day we're making missteps, we're making mistakes. The divine knows that. It can almost be seen as an impossible feat in this day and age with the amount of distraction that we're being bombarded with in our everyday waking lives, our chakra systems under constant attack, lust and greed and envy and gluttony, the seven deadly sins, which are these seven chakras flipped, right? Seven virtues, seven deadly sins. You fall somewhere in between trying to keep the balance. See, we live in this material world, which is dualistic in nature. So we just need to make sure that the balance is always kept. Just enough light and just enough dark. But the principalities that are at play here, which are all tentacles of this devil energy, wish to overcome the third density with darkness. That's why our world feels the way it does right now, Taurus. It feels like we're on the brink of a certain kind of destruction. And this is because more and more people have woken up a lot of people don't even know what they've woken up to. They just know that they've woken up and things aren't what they seem. The awakening process suggests that we've all been living a kind of lie. But to begin to understand what it is we have woken up to, I think can truly be found with what I am suggesting here for all of you today, Taurus. Switch decks. What do we have at the heart, please? 
Ah, Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy at the heart. A lot of you are beginning to accept the truth. There's no going back to how things once were globally, collectively, and in your own waking lives. You need to keep pushing forward. Don't look back, Taurus. You know, the ascension process is made up of highs and lows. The ascension process is basically us hitting the next level in the game. We plateau for a period of time. We learn some more lessons, gather some more wisdom, and then we ascend again, or step up rather, to the next level in the game. But with all of these ascensions comes a dip right before we step up to that next level. I always speak about this, the peaks and the valleys, the dips that we feel, that we experience before we hit the next level in the game. And the best way I can explain this, Taurus, it's almost like something coming back from the past to try and re-engage you, some sort of karmic cycle. Something coming back to try and stop you from moving forward and hitting the next level in the game. For most of us, this can be commonly related to toxic friends, exes, family members coming back to try and re-enter into our lives because they sense something different. They sense that we're moving on without them. This tentacle that runs from the devil is using them as a vessel to stop you from hitting that next level in the game and moving closer and closer to your optimal vibration. So now we're starting to get a bit of an idea of how our everyday waking lives are constructed in a manner to stop us from fulfilling our mission, from fulfilling our vibration. It's really being highlighted right now inside the collective how much we need to really pay attention to all the little details, all the decisions we're making right now. Now's not a time to be taking chances, Taurus. There's a war for our minds, a war for our attention, and it surrounds us. It's everywhere. The divine wants you to balance and focus right now, Taurus. Organize your thoughts. Organize any duties that you may have into something that's manageable. A lot of you have so many things that you want to do. You feel so overwhelmed that you're not actually doing anything. I'm hearing you need to pick one thing, Taurus, the thing that you are the best at right now. Put all of your time, energy, and focus into that. Once you get that to a point where it can sustain itself, however that may show up for you, it's going to be different for each one of you. So take the message as it applies. Then add one of the other pieces. All of these things that you want to do, Taurus, all make up, all equate to what's been outlined in your mission statement. You know, a lot of people think um, their purpose, their mission is one single thing. And I can't speak for everybody, but I feel that in this time we're living in, we've all had a collection of things that have been assigned to us that help create the sum total of our vibration. Some of these things have been assigned to you to help support you on your path. Some of these things have been assigned to you to bring you joy. They could even be hobbies. But if you can, again, think about things in terms of what it does to your vibration, then it will start to make more sense. And I'm getting sensations around my third eye chakra right now, Taurus. I'm picking up a bit of brain fog with some of you, which speaks directly on what I said in regards to you needing to reorganize yourself into something more manageable. Taurus, I'm hearing that now's the time to be honest with yourself about who you really are. I'm also picking up on some of you needing to connect with your inner child. Some of you are going to find a piece of information when you do this. It's like thinking back to maybe when you were five or six I just heard seven, when you still had that childlike innocence. It was a very impressionable, very honest time in your life. And I feel that it was somewhere within that age, five to seven, that you had that you had a very clear idea of who you really were. For some of you, much clearer than now. I remember being five years old, and I used to go around like I was an old man, talking to people and looking at them and telling them what they needed to fix in their life. And people would just laugh at me because I was just a kid. But it's interesting, as I've gotten older, it's become very clear to me that I spoke a lot of truth. I could see through all the noise. I was always able to pick up on people's emotions. It's like that saying, from the mouth of babes, there's truth, there's innocence. And as I look down at this Queen of Swords, we see this. What's well, like a fairy or 
like a cherub, right? Handing you this crown. Wow. You know, I didn't see this until I finished saying what I just said about you reconnecting with that inner child. It's like you reconnect with that inner child and you find a piece of information. See how the cherub is handing you this crown? Handing you this piece of information, allowing you or helping you to remember who you are? It could be that during this time of reconnection, you just get an idea out of nowhere. You get a download. See, a lot of the times what I find is the divine will guide me to do something and then something else will come across my path and the message is in that thing that comes across my path. It's not in what the divine tells me to do. It's not that obvious. What do we have in the throat? King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy at the throat. And this King of Pentacles from this deck, we have the Ace of Pentacles there as well, right? Hand of God giving you something, something that you need on your path. And this King of Pentacles is the resulting energy. This tells a story here. We have the information about your vibration, which allows you to step into this position of the magician, which illuminates to you that there's this opposing force, which helps you to understand your purpose, your purpose in this vibrational war. The divine instructs you to implement a certain task. For the sake of this reading and the example they gave me, it was connecting with that inner child, which leads you to a piece of information. And then by way of cause and effect, you become the king of pentacles. You are now functioning inside of your mission, fulfilling your vibration. As this King of Pentacles, you're able to assure your presence in this particular life cycle. It's you assuming responsibility for yourself and what you've been tasked with doing. This King of Pentacles is basically you functioning inside of this space. You've made it. You're in this allocated position that the Divine has carved out just for you. And King of Pentacles is one of the cards that represents abundance, okay? Which goes back to what I said about the abundant mindset. It's now showing up in your everyday waking life. Cause and effect. What do we have in the third eye, please? We're going to take both of these. Judgment, Pluto, Scorpio energy, Page of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy at the crown. Taurus, I just heard very clearly that when you start to look at your reality from this perspective of vibration and frequency, which is just another kind of access point to understanding our reality, you can actually liken the rapture, right? There's these people, it's like they're getting raptured, right? It's like you can liken the rapture to a frequency, to a vibration. Because when you're raising your vibration, the way you perceive your reality shifts. The way you experience your reality is different. It's like you're saving yourself by simply having an understanding of the true nature of your mission. Now that's very complex, but it does make sense. If you think of the rapture as a kind of metaphor. When you raise your vibration, you experience your reality from this point of bringing balance on your path that you individually walk down. It could be seen as you being saved from a certain kind of destructive force, judgment. Right there at the third eye, which is all 
connected to your vision, your intuition, and seen beyond the third density. Right now, we are all being called to focus more on what is beyond the material world as a means to help us navigate this current world that we are in. And the reason for this is because it helps strengthen your faith. And well, let's face it, faith is a crucial part of navigating this particular timeline that we are all on. And then we have the Page of Pentacles at the crown. You have leveled up. You have hit the next plateau. You have just gone from the King of Pentacles, which for the sake of this reading here can be seen as you defeating the current level that you're on. Judgment, right? You're being lifted vibrationally to the next level, right? And then you start at the Page of Pentacles. Page to the King is a full cycle. So here you are, you've graduated on, and you've hit the next level in the game. Page of Pentacles is an energy of manifestation. It's an energy of seeking abundance. So you've graduated on to the next level, having learned, having gathered wisdom that is now going to be applied into this next level. For the sake of of this particular reading, it's like this Page of Pentacles is higher than this King of Pentacles because it's the first step of the next level. Which is another way of looking at the Page of Pentacles. Just all comes down to how deep you want to read into the energies and the tarot. But being that we have the Page and the King here, which are both representing your energy, Taurus, earth energy, this is telling me that you have mastered yourself or you're going to master yourself. It just depends where you are in the timeline. And then I have judgment again on the bottom of this deck. This judgment is different though because this judgment here is actually trying to stop you from ascending, right? King of Pentacles again, but red in its negative polarity. So we're seeing very clearly here, King of Pentacles, you and your highest vibration, but the King of Pentacles from this deck, which I read as a negative polarity, it's essentially devil energy, okay? Is showing us how your shadow is being used against you to stop you from ascending. Now, the way this can show up, the simplest way I can put this, Taurus, is you being in an environment where people try and bring out the worst in you. Like you're being constantly triggered by people around you. People that are always telling you what you can and cannot do. People that are always time wasters, dream crushers, right? Whenever I get this King of Pentacles, it's like he's side-eyeing you like, hmm, I wouldn't do that if I was you. Over my dead body, you'll never pull that off. Not if I have anything to say about it. This is the energy that's standing in your way, Taurus. Whether it's somebody external to you, whether it's a story you tell yourself, it could be behavioral patterns, or it could be a whole collection of things. But like I mentioned earlier on in the reading, at the end of the day, this energy here is trying to stop you from receiving this piece of information right there at the heart chakra that is all connected to your mission, your purpose, your true heart's desires. This King of Pentacles is a very greedy energy. It's the well, if I can't have it, neither will you. But typically speaking, they'll never say this to your face. They'll hide it from you until they can't hide it anymore. And then watch out, because anything goes with this individual. I'm also here, wow, okay. I just got quite, yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting a lot of ringing in my ears right now. There's something here about self-sabotage, Taurus. I feel like some of you have been in a cycle of self-sabotage. The simplest way to explain 
what I'm picking up on here for all of you, Taurus. And I think I can only explain this the way that I'm about to because I've experienced this before. This is something that I suffered with for many years. It's you putting all your time, effort, and energy into trying to succeed at something. And then in the 11th hour, right before you're getting ready to pull through whatever this is you're working towards, you self-sabotage in some capacity. Now, there's obviously countless different ways this can show up. But if that message is for you, it should just immediately resonate. A lot of this self-sabotaging is influenced by your environments, the people you have in your life, the story you tell yourself, the way you perceive yourself. This is why connecting with this inner child is so important. There's actually a lot of healing that you can find there, a lot of truth that you can find there. You see, the way our realities have been constructed, the older and older we get, the deeper the lie becomes. It's so embedded that we don't even know that we're lying to ourselves. It's like a kind of programming that this third density does to us without us even knowing it. Your reality has been constructed in a specific way to tell you that what it is that's screaming out from inside your heart, you cannot pull off, Taurus. But I'm here to tell you that if this is what you've been experiencing, the truth is is the exact opposite. The principalities at play are highly threatened of you understanding and discovering the truth around who you are and what you came here to do. What do we have for the sacred, please? Three of Pentacles, Capricorn Energy, Arobas at the sacral. Oh, wow. Temperance, Crocell, Sag energy at the solar plexus. So yeah, there's this very strong force around a lot of you Tauruses right now. Whenever I get this card, it's like a bull in a china shop, right? So this is actually a perfect card to come out after what I mentioned in regards to the self-sabotaging in the 11th hour. You know, this could very well be you having somebody in your life that is watching you, right? Build something. And then in the 11th hour, right before you pull through the success, they say something to you. Uh, are you sure you want to do that? Are you sure that's really for you? I wouldn't do that if I was you. And for a lot of you, this person's really close to you. Okay, I'm also hearing that this is something subconscious as well that you've picked up on your path. Okay, which I'm feeling is directly connected to this inner child. You know, how many of you out there have these phrases that you picked up in your younger years that start rattling around inside your mind when you're trying to harness the confidence and courage to pull something off? And then it's those words that are rattling around that cause you to give up on something or, again, to self-sabotage. When I started to really understand how this worked, I started to really focus in on the source of those particular things that... I was suffering with and I removed those things those people from my life and very soon after I started to see success in my life that I had never had in my life before a lot of you Taurus has needed to hear that okay you need encouragement right now you need support and if you can't find that in the people that you have around you then you got to go solo Taurus okay because at this point it's either you or them are you going to live inside an idea of what they have for you? Are you going to live the rest of your life thinking about all the things you could have been? Or are you actually going to take your power back and march directly towards your purpose and power? Both of these cards, Three of Pentacles and this Temperance, are representing some sort of outside force. This Temperance is all about chaos. Energies around you that are disrupting you or bringing imbalance. And it's right underneath this devil. Okay, I just heard this is representing the extensions of the devil that I spoke about, right? The tentacles, the people, the places, the things, the behavioral patterns, the mindsets, the things you tell yourself, the phrases that rattle around inside your mind. All of this is being represented right here. And see how this energy here? is suffocating this magician energy here, which is making up everything that you are and everything you're capable of. It's like you make it to the other side of this energy and you see things, you understand things in a way that you never have before. 
you've accepted the truth. A lot of the time, Taurus, the things that are standing in our way have to do with truths that we don't want to accept around certain individuals that we may have in our lives. It's heartbreaking. It's hurtful. It shifts your reality. It's, it's paradigm shifting. But again, it makes up who you are once you step into mission. You start to see all these obstacles and all this heartbreak that you've had to go through as crucial pieces to your path. You start to look at your family as individuals that were assigned to you divinely to assist in waking you up to the truth surrounding what you came here to do. They don't know that, but they're essentially being used by source to help you remember. What do we have at the heart, please? Wow. Five of Wands, Leo Energy, Ajiris, Immorality. This is you really accepting the truth, Taurus. These wicked energies, Five of Wands, it's like they created all these obstacles, challenges, tried to block you on your path. It's like you ripped back the veil, which is the result of you understanding the truth. And it's like you see these people for who they really are. It's like, Mom, Dad, you mean you're actually just a slimy demon? Yes, Taurus, yes. They're NPCs, right? Non-player characters. You're here for a reason. You're here to bring balance. You know this. You feel this inside. These people keep you embroiled in discord and strife always creating some sort of tension or challenges. This could even represent people that are always trying to compete with you. At the end of the day, all of these things equate to wasting your time. And time is the most valuable commodity. And then, Two of Wands, Gilio, Love and Wisdom, Aries Energy. And whenever I get this card, it's like, here you are, right? You look like you've been crying or you're upset. You're holding your pulse like, is this even real? Right underneath this Queen of Swords, accepting the truth. And then looking directly at this devil, right? I can't believe this. They're actually shackled to Baphomet. How did I not see that before? This Two of Wands is also speaking about how your plans would always fall apart. How things would just slip through your fingers. You know, when I think back to those times when I would self-sabotage in that 11th hour, or there'd be some influence around me, it's so clear to me now. It's horrifying when you start to see it from this different perspective, Taurus. When you start to see things from outside the fishbowl that was once your life. What do we have at the throat, please? Eight of Pentacles. Virgo energy at the throat. Lechabel, God the teacher. Intellectual talent provides knowledge. Right underneath this King of Pentacles. So here is the divine, right? Handing you this blessing, this information, this download, however it shows up for you, right? Which you got back here. And then boom, you put it into action. Now you're on path. Now you're engaging with your purpose, your mission. Now you're in this frequency, right? Vibrating at this frequency. Look at all you've had to overcome to get here, Taurus. This is an incredibly detailed, very deep reading. Not everybody's going to understand this reading. It's not for everybody. It's for a select group of you. Those who get it will get it. It's like they wanted you so badly to lack ambition and focus to actually pull this off. What do we have at the third eye? 
Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy at the third eye. The praiseworthy God, light of understanding, acquires knowledge and cures illness. So cures illness, this just really speaks about the self-sabotage, right? The mental mind wars that all of this causes. <laughs> Curing the illness of non-action, which falls under this umbrella of a lack mindset, right? A poverty mindset. Always thinking about all the things that you could have been or you want to be, but not actually putting action behind it. This is you overcoming all of this now. And you're doing it over and over again. King, knight, page, page, knight, king, right? There's just this feeling of you understanding how this works now. And ascending over and over again, right? This is a formula. I just heard a formula of understanding. You get the process now. This Knight of Pentacles is a very methodical, very thorough energy. And it also speaks about efficiency. So it goes right back to what I said about reorganizing yourself into something more manageable. Not taking on too much. Put all your energy into one thing, then move along to the next once that thing can sustain itself. What do we have at the crown to close out the reading, please, for Taurus? Wow. Unbelievable. The death card. Mumia. God, the end of the universe. Endings and rebirth. Influences health and longevity. Perfect card to get to end this reading, Taurus. Because it shows us very clearly that a death has been brought to this cycle in your life. It's like a kind of end of your universe, your reality, and you step into the next level in the game, right? Endings and rebirth. You're starting to understand that we're in a vibrational war, and you're respecting the passage of time and the value by which you put to all of your life clock minutes, which is a crucial element to making sure that you do not allow these energies to overcome you any further, depending on where you are on your path. This is a beautiful, profound reading, and I certainly hope that you were able to take some useful information from this to help support you on your path. Taurus, this is the message I have available to all of you, depending on where you are on this timeline, should you choose to accept. I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you would like a personal reading, you can find all of my contact details in the description below this video. And thank you for your donations, Taurus. Take care.